Hi, Andrew here with some more 556 gel testing. Today we're taking a look at the Black Hills 50 grain optimized TSX load. We're going to fire it out of a 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper. Now, before we get out to the range and take a look at this, I want to make a couple of notes here. One is that the Black Hills 50 grain optimized load is a little bit different than the standard TSX that's available as a component. So far as I know, you cannot get this particular projectile anywhere else except through Black Hills. It's called optimized because it is intended to be more barrier blind than the standard 50 grain TSX. And because it's a little more barrier blind, it is said to be tougher. And there is some discussion out there about whether or not it's capable of expanding properly when fired from a short barrel. So that's exactly what we're going to test today. We're going to shoot it, like I said, from a 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper with this one and seven twist into calibrated 10% ordnance gelatin. Let's take a look. All right, guys, this is absolutely perfect performance. Essentially instant expansion, zero neck, good sized temporary stretch cavity that tapers off real gradually. Obviously zero fragmentation. Looks like 100% weight retention. The temporary stretch cavity measures three and a half inches by six inches, although there's a bit of a lobe that comes on down here that you could measure. Measuring it is somewhat subjective because it's at an angle rather than just stopping. Total penetration, 15.5 inches. It's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Exactly nailed the 14 to 16 inch ideal spot, obviously well over the 12 inch minimum, obviously well under the 18 inch maximum. <laughs> you just can't ask for anything more out of this. This is perfect. Let's take a look at this projectile. That is monster expansion for a 224-inch, .224 inch bullet. That is absolutely huge. We'll get some measurements at home, but that's just incredible. Obviously, there is no core or jacket to separate, being a solid copper bullet. There's nothing else to say. This is, this is perfect. This is what you're looking for, guys. This sets the standard. All right, so if you had any doubts, maybe you shouldn't have because Black Hills makes outstanding ammo and Barnes makes a very good bullet. They came together with perfect textbook performance in this case. Non-existent neck, big, huge temporary stretch cavity that stretched long into the gel block, much farther than a lot of others. And typically we see a temporary stretch cavity that expands quickly and then drops off quickly. But in this case, it expanded quickly and very slowly, shallowly narrowed down as the bullet slowed down. Very good performance all the way around. Big, huge expansion, perfect weight retention. Everything that this bullet did was textbook perfect. Of course, it exceeded the FBI minimum of 12 inches, but it just perfectly nailed that 14 to 16 inch sweet spot that we prefer to see for defensive use ammunition. This stuff nails the top of the list. And as a bonus, you fire it out of a 16 inch barrel and it produces enough velocity that can usually penetrate level three steel armor. Does it get much better than that? Not really, maybe with M855A1, but there really isn't a whole lot of that available to the civilian market. So if you want perfect terminal performance and possibly some armor penetration, 
this is where to go. If you have any questions or comments, leave a post below. I love to hear your thoughts on the subject. And if you have the time, head on over and join the discussion over on the forum. We'll post a link in the description. I want to give a big thank you to Nathan Bohr at Aimed Research for providing the camera that was used in this test to capture that badass high-speed footage. If you want to get real, legit high-speed photography like that for yourself, contact Nathan. I'll leave his contact information in the description as well. Have a great day.